Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Pressure Crisp, and today we're going to be doing some Ninja Foodie 101 videos. We're actually going to steam some broccoli in the Ninja Foodie. Um, a lot of people probably haven't used the steam function on theirs, so we're just going to go over broccoli today, and then I'm probably going to do further videos on different uh, vegetables that you want to steam. Alright, so let's just get started. Okay, so what you see in front of you is the Ninja Foodie with the pot in it. So to this, we're going to add two cups of water. Now you can use your um, tender crisp basket if you want to, <clears throat> but if you happen to get one of these as a gift or if you see it on Amazon or wherever, um, also stores carry them, I think Bed Bath & Beyond and Kohl's. This is an OXO silicone steamer basket and it fits in here just beautifully. To this, we're just gonna add our broccoli. All right, make sure it's there. We're just going to crisscross this so it's sealed shut. With that, this is a really nice feature because um, I just was just going to say the bands don't come apart. <laughs> um, let me get this one piece of broccoli out of the way. There we go. And that stays just like that. Now you're going to put on your pressure lid. Okay, and you're going to keep the vent open. Let me just go back there and show you what that looks like. There we go. That's the, this is in seal position and this is the vent. You want to keep it on vent. That's the most important thing about steaming um, and then Ninja Foodie because if you pressure seal this for the amount of time that I'm going to tell you, it's going to be complete mush, unless you want mush. So we're going to leave it on vent. We're going to turn the Ninja Foodie on. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to hit steam. Now there's no temperature gauge with the steam. But I am going to go over here, we're going to set the time for 9 minutes, and we're going to hit start. Okay, so it took quite a few minutes to come up to steam. Um, it's counting down, it's, we still have 6 minutes and 30 seconds left. But I'm not sure, if you can't really see it, I mean I can feel, I'm not sure if you can see it a, a little bit, but you can hear it, that it is venting while it's steaming. Okay, so they are done steaming, so we're going to remove the lid. Once again, be careful, open it away from you, because steam is very dangerous. Put this off to the side. I am gonna grab a piece. Just wanna see, I hope it's not, oops, overdone. So just once again, please be careful. Just wanna take a quick bite. Okay, they're done, but they also retain um, some of the broccoli um, crunchiness. So I'm using this for a different recipe. I mean, you can serve these as is. You can put like a cheese sauce on them. Me, I just like plain salt on them. Um, but I'm actually gonna saute these up with garlic and then shave some Parmesan cheese over the top. So I'm just gonna plunge this broccoli into ice water. But I'm doing that because I'm using it for another recipe. If you're gonna have this for dinner, serve right away. I'm just gonna take it out. Once again, please be careful. And it's going right in ice water. All right. We're going to do a little taste test on the broccoli, which I've already tasted. At the nine minute mark, it's not mush. You still have a slight crunch to the broccoli. Like I said, you can serve these right away. Um, top of cheese sauce, butter, salt, pepper, whatever you want. But I'm actually using this for a different recipe later on today because it's um, only like 1030 in the morning. Um, but I'm going to saute this up with a little olive oil, butter, um, garlic, toss in the broccoli, heat it, and then shave some Parmesan cheese on top. So um, definitely put your steam uh, button to use on the Ninja Foodie. And um, thanks a lot, and uh, please like and subscribe.